This is my old grappling hook. Ew. And this is the new one. My eyes aren't on fire. The most important part, swinging on things. It do work. But, of course, there's more to it. For example... First thing, we have the aim ray. This makes it so that way if it's true, whoever's holding the gun, and only whoever's holding the gun, you have a beam, so you stop missing everything. Much easier to aim. Then we have a few different numbers. These are not really too important overall. But the swamp toggle is extremely important as it's most of the circuits with this. If I toggle this on when I grab it, now it still acts normal, but if I hold my trigger, it makes a little sound. It has three separate modes. I'll go over each of them. First is standard. This is what I showed earlier. You swing on things. Th that's it. The second mode is direct. You just go directly to where you want to go. And it holds you wherever you go. Once you let go of the trigger, you fall. The third option is a realistic option, which allows you to maintain distance. Use it like a swing. And if you point in the direction of your grapple and hold your trigger, you can slowly reel in, or the opposite for going down. Now the real fun part is the fact that I made it so you can grapple all sorts of objects. This includes moving objects like vehicles and, for example, disc. So I can throw it and then grapple onto it. If I hold my trigger, assuming it's slower than my grapple speed, I can speed up. You cannot grapple on the things that you yourself, the person holding this, is holding. Meaning that if I throw this and again grab it, it automatically unhooks. But if another player is holding an object, you can hook onto that. I'm not showing it, uh, cause I have no friends. You can also grapple onto other players. But again, I don't have any friends, so I'm gonna do this instead. Get over here! One last thing, you might have noticed that it looks like this is firing a projectile. For it takes time to hit something, and it also takes time to come back. Although it is basically a projectile, it's not an actual object. If I were to look at circuits and fire this, you'll notice how there is no actual object at the endpoint. I'm simulating a projectile that will dynamically react to the environment using vector math. Anyways, yeah, I don't know why I made this, so goodbye.